Installing the Ratio Wireless Flow Meter will require you to perform some basic plumbing. We recommend hiring a professional plumber or sprinkler installer. Install the flow meter within 300 feet of your Ratio 3 controller. The controller needs to be installed, connected to Wi-Fi, and operating correctly before proceeding with the installation of the flow meter. Before you begin, identify the size and type of pipe used in your system – copper, poly, PVC, or PEX. Installation will require a minimum length of straight pipe between the backflow preventer and the valve box. The meter will not measure accurately if there are elbows or T's in this stretch of pipe. Find length requirements and other installation instructions for your size and type of pipe at ratio.com flow. We're installing the flow meter above ground. If you need to install the meter underground, visit ratio.com flow dash underground for instructions. Fittings cannot be removed from the flow meter once attached, so it's important to use the right ones. Visit ratio.com slash flow dash fittings to learn how to select the right fittings. In the box, you'll find the wireless flow meter, battery cover with screws, and two AA batteries. Be aware that inserting your fingers or other objects into the flow meter will damage the sensor. Gather the fittings and the required tools. Before installing the batteries, launch the Ratio app then select More, Accessories, Add Wireless Flow Meter. The app will walk you through the pairing process. You'll scan the barcode on the meter, then head to the installation site. The app will prompt you to install the batteries. Then the meter will pair with your controller. A momentary green light confirms the signal is strong enough. Make sure the flow meter is within range of your Ratio 3 before cutting any pipe. Fold the barcode over the batteries and tightly secure the battery cover. Turn off the water at the backflow preventer, or the main shutoff. Then use Quick Run in the app to depressurize the system. Simply run any zone for one minute. This will relieve pressure in the sprinkler pipes. Next, twist the one-inch PVC end of each fitting onto the flow meter until they are nearly flush with the meter housing. Water flows from the backflow preventer to the valve box. The flow meter must be installed in between the two. Measure six inches from the last elbow or T. Make a mark where we will later make the top cut. Now measure from this top cut down the pipe as indicated in the online instructions for your type of pipe. Make a mark for the lower cut. Double check your measurements, then place a small X on each of the cut marks. The fittings will need some room to grip the pipe. Measure up from the top cut mark as indicated in the directions. Make a new mark for the overlap. Now measure down from the bottom cut mark and draw another line. These marks will help you know how far to push the fitting onto the pipe. Measure everything one more time. The top cut is down six inches of straight pipe after the backflow preventer. The bottom cut is below that as indicated in the instructions for your type of pipe. Insertion depth marks are above the top cut and below the bottom cut. Measure twice, cut once. Align your pipe cutter for the top cut. X marks the spot. Rotate the pipe cutter, tightening every few rotations. There might be residual water pressure in your system. Don't be surprised if some water comes out as you complete the cut. Then move down to the lower X. If your cut misses the mark, simply adjust the pipe cutter before continuing. Remove the pipe, then smooth the rough edges of the cuts inside and out with sandpaper or a deburring tool. Take your time. There are arrows embossed on the top and bottom of the meter, as well as printed on the faceplate. The arrow indicates the direction of water flow through the flow meter. It should point from the backflow preventer toward the valve box. The arrow will usually point down. Press and twist the flow meter onto the bottom of the pipe first, and keep going until it reaches the insertion mark. Then fit the top pipe into the upper fitting and work it into place. Keep going until the fitting reaches the insertion mark. You're ready to turn on the water. If you see a drip, make sure the fittings have been pressed all the way to the insertion marks. If you used Ratio recommended fittings, the meter can swivel in any direction, providing easy access to the battery compartment. The final step is calibration. Your meter won't function as intended if it hasn't been calibrated. In the Ratio app, select More, Accessories, then the Flow Meter option. Follow the prompts to calibrate the meter. 
Be sure to follow the tips in the app about the water use in your home while calibrating. When you're ready, it will run each zone for a minute to measure the water flow. If you have any questions or run into trouble, explore our help center at ratchio.com flow. The Ratchio support team is standing by. Congratulations, your meter is now measuring actual water usage and has been calibrated to alert you of any leaks or other flow-related issues.